This is Dave with Silver Creek Outfitters bringing your April fishing forecast for 2014. I'm going to start with the fisheries that are open and the big losses open year round and it fishes very good in April. Expect a lot of blue winged olive and betas hatches. Usually the bugs over there are size 20, 22, but we do get some very big blue wings over there like a size 18. So bring a variety of dry flies over when you go over to the big loss. The nipping's always good over there, and I like pheasant tails, zebra midges, rainbow warriors, and brassies, a lot of smaller flies over on the big lost. They will raise the water up at some point once the reservoir gets full over there, but right now it's fishing very good and the water's very low. Steelhead fishing's very good up in Stanley this year, and April is the prime month for steelhead. I don't know how big the run's going to be this year, but there are some fish around and there's already some up in the upper river above Stanley. So I expect the fishing to be fairly good. And the only thing that'll affect you is runoff if it gets too warm, but I expect the cool nights to keep the river in good shape for now. There's two methods to seal a fish up there and you can either swing a fly on a spay rod or a switch rod or a single handed rod. I usually like a sink tip on that to get the fly down a little bit. Or you can nip in the deeper pockets. Please when you're up there, a lot of people fish on the reds up there and I just don't like seeing people fish the reds when the steelhead are spawning up there. So please stay off of the reds when you're fishing up there. Okay, I want to talk about the 2014 opening day season and our season opens up Memorial Day weekend which is May 24th this year. And we have about 80-85% of snowpack in the Wood River Valley. So I expect the wood and the copper basin and rivers like that to be fairly high opening day. It might not take long for the snowpack to come out depending on the temperatures between now and the end of May. But Silver Creek will certainly be fishing good this year and the rehabilitation project that they've been working on will be completed. It's already done and it will be really helpful to the fish down there, especially down in Point of Rocks and the Willows and down lower on the system. They finished the dam off, they finished the work above the Kilpatrick Bridge and below and it really looks good and I think it's really going to help the fishing out down there this summer. It's really made it deeper. The water should be a lot cooler in the middle of the summer. So I'm looking forward to that and I think it's really going to help out the fishing. Okay, I want to talk about the Big Wood River and the fires we had this past summer. I expect this season we need a pretty good runoff and I think we're going to get it and it should flush the wood out. But as soon as we get any rain this summer in June, July and August, I have a feeling it's going to put our warm springs in the Big Wood River out, so you're going to have to look for that. I think short term it's affected us a lot. I think in the long term it'll help us out actually, so I think there's going to be some changes out there. The fish on the wood have been come, come through this winter fairly good shape, which surprises me. I thought we were going to lose a lot more fish, but it seems like there's a lot of fish on the wood still. So I'm very encouraged by that. Just be careful with the fish out there on the Big Wood and on Warm Springs and on Trail Creek. Make sure you don't handle them too much this season because I think they're a little stressed out from last year. I'm also seeing a lot more browns on the Wood River, especially down south, kind of down by Haley and Bellevue. We've caught some very big fish down there this year. So I'm encouraged to see some more browns in the wood. I love rainbows like everybody else, but I like a little diversification out there on the Wood River.